Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got back here from the car show a while ago. I couldn't stay long today. Um, I had a PSA order come in yesterday. It wasn't mine. I had wanted to get it out today. So I got about two hours into the show, I will say. Really good show. Uh, a lot of same vendors. Um, a lot of same cards. You guys have seen a clip of some of the newer stuff that I've seen. Um, trying to think here. I have a couple business cards in case anybody's interested in getting in touch with these guys. So I'll put that into the video somehow. It'll either, as their piece comes up, play there or right before it. I haven't really decided yet because <laughs> I kind of throw this stuff all together, <laughs> then piece it all together. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, you see my stacks here from three different people. We'll go over those when I get back and we'll touch about... The upcoming uh, sale that I'll have going on here. All right, guys. Catch y'all in a few. All right, we're back. All right, like I said, pretty good stuff there. Um, I tried to get as much as I could tape recorded in up there. It, there was some traffic in pieces, and yeah, you got to do with what you got to do. A lot, some of this stuff, if it's vintage, I'm keeping. Um, everything else is going to be up for the next sell that I do. I'm playing off by ear because I had a PSA order pop, and it's in shipping now. I got another one in QA2. So I'll probably, as soon as this order from PSA comes in, expect a lot of nines. I think I had like seven tens and 14 nines. Probably like the worst I've ever done. But some of the stuff I knew was going to be nines too. And we just know, you just don't get it back quick enough. They're one of those things. So I'll let you guys take a stab at it first before I send it off to DC. Probably look at a Saturday um, type deal for that. I'll do a preview video, stuff like that there. And then when the next PSA order pops, I'll do the same thing again. Just with what comes in off the PSA order, in case anybody's interested on it. All right. So first table I went up to, I uh, picked this stuff up here. Griffey. Allen. Now, I'll tell you right. When you go through people's 50% off and more boxes, you could find some really great stuff in there. And, you know, work deals, all kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of these guys are very eager to sell today. Griffey, Gamebat, 
Allen Ginter, 2021. I mean, in Mariners uh, uniform, which is what I like to get instead of Cincinnati, even though I'm close to Cincy, pretty cool. And it looks like it has some kind of like embedded here in the wood. I'll show you guys. I don't know if that's supposed to be like part of an M or whatever that is. Kind of cool, though. Pick that up. Stuff you don't see anymore. Elite Series Barry Bonds. I mean, it was just telling you in box. <laughs> I'm looking at it going, this can't be right. These things go for this amount type deal. And I, I, I got to grab when you can. Tony Gwynn Elite Series. I believe this is 96 and the other one's 92. I'm trying to pull it up. Mm -mm. Yeah, 96. So, not in 96, Chipper Jones Elite Series. Sandberg, 92 Elite Series. Chipper Jones, this is the gold medallion. It does have a little marks on to it and stuff, but very hard to find these that are the gold medallion version of it. This here is just crazy. Fleer Metal, Roger Clemens Hardball. These don't go for a whole lot, but I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> And finally, a Barry Bonds die cut. This is from a studio from back in the day. Really, really cool. I mean, stuff you just don't see. That was one deal I picked up. Probably spent about 20, 25 minutes going through stuff at that table. Found it. A gentleman had vintage, and we talked for a little bit there. Um, he didn't have anything like big name vintage, but as you guys know, I've been looking for this oddball vintage stuff. Check this out. These are called, um, I think it's 54 Scoops, if I recall right. Custer's Last Stand. Just look at how this artwork is from back in the day. These aren't going to be for sale. These are going to one day go out to PSA Vintage Grading Land whenever that returns. I mean, this guy here, he cut me a heck of a deal. Yeah, I was like, wow, all right. Joe Lewis, new champ. I mean, these are pretty decent. This one here is in pretty decent shape. Finally, Dempsey defeats Willard. He had the four horsemen one, but I just didn't pull the trigger onto it at all. Just the dog hair down here. Oh, by the way, Pug's up there sleeping. She uh, had a little upset stomach today from the meds, so. See if she has to go back Monday to be drained. I know a couple people asked about her and sent emails and stuff. Appreciate it. Y'all know, Pug has uh, been staying by me since my time out of the military. Kind of like that little, uh, I don't know what you want to say, little, little person there for me at all times. This was all out of one deal. Um... I probably spent 45 minutes going through this guy's stuff. Uh, he had a lot. If you see the clip, there is a picture of a Curry quad jersey from Gold Standard. It was this guy here. And this was marked in, like, I think it said 50% off or something like that. The sticker prices. And I was like, I'll go through. I started looking. I was like, I couldn't believe what I was finding. This here. This is the, uh, I know Panini made this. It's the Revolution, Jerry Rice, die cuts. I mean, just look how this is. It's it's beautiful. Is it going to 10? Probably not. But, I mean, just this older stuff here has been what's been catching my eye here recently, and I've been picking it up. 50% <laughs> off onto this. Select, I, I had asked if this was true. <laughs> Select Jersey. Of Trey Young, rookie year. Beautiful. Ben Gordon. This is the Fleer Throwbacks rookie. And just the patch itself, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, these are going around 10 bucks, and I mean, they're sitting in like a dollar box for half off and stuff. <laughs> No, not all these were dollar box stuff. Um, Spencer Haywood Auto. This is out of gold standard. I was a fan of the 14K autographs back in the day. This is out of 149. Upper deck Carl Malone jersey card. 
you, you don't see this stuff at shows. I mean, this was like something I was in shock by today. Dominion, if you guys remember, this stuff was popular when it came out. And it was expensive per box. Everybody was complaining. Trey Young, Mo Bamba, Wendell Carter Jr., Colin Sexton, all jersey pieces. This I just picked up because I had no idea. Flair Showcase, Cal Ripken Jr. It's a promotional sample. Found them now. I found one finally on eBay. Um, but for anybody that's out there, Ripken Collector, it'll be out in the next one. Really nice and flashy. Then these two here. <laughs> 52 Bowmans. You have Bobby Thompson and Sal Magley. This has a little bit of staining going on. The other one doesn't. It'll go out for grading eventually. I mean, anytime I could find a vintage box that says 50% off and, the, you know, what they have it at, it's like a current comps, I will take it all day long. <laughs> all day long for vintage. Um, before the boom, a lot of people, if you followed me, talked to me, stuff like that, then I was always about vintage. We moved into a market afterwards because of supply and demand, basically. And, you know, that's why Kobe rookies, if you look back in time, like PSA 10s were under 100 bucks. I think I owned like four or five of them. And then all of a sudden, you know, the tragic accident, the boom happened. I start hearing Kobe PSA 10s are like, I think they were like four grand or something at the time frame. I was in shock. But it's because of supply and demand on it, how many there were out there. Now, as you look, that stuff's really dropped down, but I still think vintage, serial number, autographs is always going to be, you know, the way to go because of stuff being highly produced anymore. Every show I go to, and it's not to knock any show, I see all this retail stuff, all the bases, all the mass produced, you know, 50 colors of a rookie card. If it's not to me one of the original parallels that they came out with like select back in the day or prism and now we're going into like fuchsia wave speckle um zebra striped unicorn mixture pink um i won't buy those but i'll buy like the original tiger stripe stuff like that there because that was an original you know parallel from that you know from like i'd probably say from like 17 18 maybe 18 19 forward before we started mass producing everybody wanted to get their money's worth uh i know i showed the halliburton it's up here already that i picked up the other day i do have a couple breaks coming in from hockey i got into that should be in sometime next week we'll, i'll do a quick video with that other than that everybody i mean the card show was really good um, I saw a lot of Jordan autos. <laughs> I, I had to pull myself away. One, because they were definitely overpriced. A lot of dealers, I will tell you too, where came right out and said, oh, I'm in this heavy. I can't go on, you know, meet you at the comps or less than comps. There were people you could tell that weren't in stuff heavy because they would come right out and say, I'll work with you on prices. And as soon as somebody said something like that to me, I'm like, what do you mean work with? Because some people give you like, oh, five, ten, you know, 10% off. These guys are talking, you know, 15 to 25, some 50% off in boxes. I was like, wow. I mean, it, it's really changing as I'm watching these shows go through. The one thing I see is a lot of newer collectors and younger collectors. And I wish I, they would, uh, you know, be more aware, I guess, in a way that going out there and buying that like Herbert select concourse rookie and stuff like that, it's not going to be good down the road. There's so many out there. And especially the other issue is, is there's so many graded out there. When you start looking at like Griffey rookies, there was a lot printed, but when you start looking at pop counts on it changes it completely Versus nowadays, there's just a ton graded. And I mean, it's just high when you're looking at 10s and stuff like that through 9s. Insane amount. But back to the card show, it, it was really good, actually, in there. Um, I'd probably say half the people in there were willing to negotiate on prices. Um, 
uh, the other 50% were high and just weren't moving at all. But a lot of different things in there. A lot of good conversations I had with some guys in there. Um, trying to think offhand if there was anything that really stuck out else in there to me. Uh, I did see some LeBron stuff. Of course, there was some nice Brady patch stuff. And then Brady goes and retires today. <laughs> there goes uh, Big Ben being on top of that uh, Hall of Fame class that year. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I was happy overall with the pickups. Again, I will announce when I come live for a sale coming up here. Be Once that PSA order uh, ships out, I get it. We'll probably look at like Saturday right now being realistic onto it. And then probably be like an afternoon, late afternoon one, I'm thinking on Saturday. Because I don't think there's any shows that day, but I'll put all that information out then. Get everybody, take care, have a good rest of the week, and I'll catch you guys next video.